Hi everybody, welcome to uh, our webinar on how to make money off the energy companies while they sleep in the fastest growing trend in renewables, batteries. We all love batteries. We do Definitely. love batteries, yeah. And this is uh, episode four in our uh, retrofit revolution series. We've had heat pumps, we've had solar with these guys from Heatable, we've had the fabric upgrades and now it's time for batteries. And just to remind everybody, the revolution, what is the revolution? The revolution is to give our customers as much free advice in retrofit to understand the benefits, the savings, the things which we, nobody knows about. We're trying to educate you in what you can do in your home. So this is the revolution and we're very excited to be here today. Yeah. Um, so, and with retrofit, it's in the most simplest terms, it's upgrading your home. And this is why we're here today. It's, uh, we strongly believe that re upgrading your home while you're extending is, is the best time. And before we get started, we have a bit of an offer from Resi that the first 50 people at home to email us on, at retrofit at resi.co.uk with the code RRR. So that's retrofit at resi.co.uk with the code RRR. We will give you some free retrofit advice on solar, on batteries, on heat pumps, on fabric upgrades, on your windows from our team of architects and designers and technologists at Resi. So send us an email after this here and we'll reach out and set up the call. So, uh, my name is Mark, Mark Hood from Resi. I'm the Head of Architecture. My job is managing this fantastic team of architects and technologists and designers, and the people, the processes, and driving these, these new products, like integrating the batteries and the heat pumps and the solar into our processes. So I'm very excited today to be here with Heatable Guys to talk about batteries, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. Um, do you want me to introduce myself as well? Go for it, Ben. Right, okay. So I'm Ben, so I was on the previous um, webinar when we did the solar, um, the solar launch with you guys. So I head up the renewable side of the heatable business. I'm one of the co-founders, um, very passionate about solar, very passionate about renewable technologies. Uh, and super happy to be here today to talk to everyone about um, battery only, which is a product that Liv is gonna introduce herself in a second, is heading up, it's her baby, her project but it's um, the most exciting product that we have, I think, today. Yeah, definitely. So as Ben said, I project manage the battery side of it. I also work with the PV, so I've got a really good handle on um, the renewable side. So yeah, I do the more day-to-day -day operational stuff. Ben's a little bit more technical. So between us, we should be all right. I think batteries are in. They're sexy. Everybody should have a battery. Every, every single, if you're extending your home, you should have a battery. Yeah, yeah it makes, definitely. It makes total sense, yeah. Um, and you should all know about Resi. We are the, the UK's number one home extension company. Um, I know I've seen some customers uh, online already. Um, we, I hate this word, but we're like a one-stop shop. We do your everything from your design, your planning, your building regulations. You get your builder. We get you a battery supplier, a heat pump, uh, a structural engineer. So we've been going for about seven years. We've done over eight thousand home extensions. It's quite a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're very excited to be partnering with market leaders in these industries and why, that's why we're here today with the Heatable team. Yeah, so we've been established for about seven years. So we've installed literally tens of thousands of energy saving products. So um, we've worked in all aspects, like we say, we work in PV as well. So um, we've got witch accreditation. We were the um, first of our kind to actually get uh, witch accreditation. So that was amazing. And um, we've got nearly 10,000 Trustpilot reviews as well. Wow. Um, so yeah, mega. We're MCS registered as well. So the regulator for the industry for renewables is MCS. Um, and we are registered for their solar PV, but also now battery only. It's a recent addition to the product. Yeah. And you've got a launch code. Yes, we do. So as we say, we do PV and battery only. So if you do um, a PV installation through us, even if it includes a battery, you can get £500 off with Resi 500. And battery only as well, you can get £250 off Resi 250. That's very generous. I know. I like it. Uh, right, so let's go into it. So we're going to touch a little bit about what retrofitting actually means. And it is it is this, I've actually got a vendetta with this word, I hate it. Yeah. Retrofit, it's like this, it's an ugly word. It's not a vote winner. It's not sexy. So we we are thinking more, it's like, it's it's looking forward. So your future fit in your home, it's it's a value add. It's You save money in your bills. You, you, you make your home more comfortable. So instead of thinking about, a lot of our customers, they don't, they don't care as much about the green stuff. We obviously do. We care about decarbonisation. Yeah. But in the simplest terms, like retrofitting or future fitting your home, it will lower your energy bills. 
it will make you feel more comfortable at home. Like if you have mold on your walls, if you have leaky windows, if you're, you're going to bed with a hot water bottle, if your heating bills are through the roof, you should consider future fit in your house. house. Yeah, and the, the, the byproduct of doing all that is you get those benefits, you get the comfort, and you are inadvertently doing your bit um, for the green revolution as well, because the offset is it's lower consumption, lower energy, and uh, improved efficiency. It just happens to be green. Yeah. Yeah, it just happens to be green. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> so do I. And we spoke pre in the previous webinars about the fabric pieces, about upgrading the insulation in your home, upgrading your windows, upgrading the underfloor heating. So we won't go into that too much. And we've also spoke previously with the heatable guys about the, uh, the, the solar that you can do in the previous webinar, which we'll send out again to this group of people. Yeah. yeah. And the the focus this time it's on it's on batteries. For us, it's it is this. Um, it's it's not very well known, but we think it's got a it's definitely got legs. Yeah. On the on the last um, one we did, we we talked about solar and we talked about batteries working together, which you can do. We said we were going to go into it more on this episode, but th this is primarily really around battery as a product on its own. Um, we still do solar with batteries, but if that's not an option, this is the the alternative. Great. Yeah. And. Just just before we get into like the, the meat of the batteries, we we say this to all of our customers. You should really consider retrofitting your home whenever you are extending. It just makes so much sense. Like yeah. whenever you're opening up walls, the basic you can in economics of getting builders to sites, you may as well consider the full house. Yeah. If you're yeah. if you're assessing the performance of a house, you're just plugging an extension on. You should also just extend assess the walls that you're attaching to like is there insulation in in the in the roof space what is your energy supply is your gas boiler 10 years old should it be upgraded do you have should you should you uh, fix this battery into your garage wall these are things you should be asking yourself whenever you are extending your home yeah and i think even while particularly battery only is one of the least invasive um, sort of renewables you can install you don't want workmen in your house all the time so just if you're going to do it do it properly do it get it all done yeah. at once so let's do it. So guys, what are home batteries? So it's essentially, people probably only know about batteries being installed alongside a PV system, um, but you can have them installed independently. So it's an energy saving device. It can help reduce your bills by around 30% on average. Um, and it will essentially just give you cleaner energy, um, greener energy, and it's cheaper because you buy it at night. And they, they look great. Like, yeah, they look pretty cool. That is it there on the screen right now. It's, yeah. And we, we got one here today. We'll show you after. Yeah, you can see it's it. Nice there, yeah. But they're, they, are, um, they fit quite nicely in your garage, on the side of your house. You can go down the side of the house, outside. Yeah, anywhere you want, really. It's pretty flexible, which makes them really versatile as well. Fantastic. So a bit more about like the battery storage. Like, what is the battery storage? So it's uh, essentially, it's a store of energy so um, it's a product which is sited in the property it stores energy much like when you charge a mobile phone and it will release that energy throughout the day you, they come in a range of sizes they come in a range of storage capacities the major benefit for them is whilst they can reduce your energy savings massively we say up to sort of 70 percent you'd be 30 percent dependent on the grid they are suitable for about 99% of properties. So sometimes solar PV can be a little bit limiting if you've not got the right roof space, maybe you're in a flat and you don't own that roof space. A battery is a very flexible product um, and is also a portable product, so. I think the portable bit's very interesting because like, if you, you buy a battery, you move into your house, if you decide to sell your house, you can then bring it with you. Yeah, it's a great negotiating point. You know, if you had a, pro a battery in a property and like one of these Teslas here, they look great, it's already installed and it's gonna reduce your bills heavily in the property. It's a negotiating point. If the new buyer doesn't want it or you just wanna take it with you, they're very simple to remove and transfer elsewhere and they will retain their product warranty. Great, and we're getting questions coming in. If you can just put your questions into the Q&A, we'll answer them all in about 15 minutes time. And just on the, the the suitability of properties, 99% of properties are suitable for, just so people at home, at home know, what are the 1% of properties where they may not be suitable for? Um, somewhere where you've got a shared supply. So if you're in a property where you've got one electricity meter and you want a shared supply, it wouldn't really work. Sometimes on high rise flats, there's limitations um, to getting them in as well. But that's, it's pretty rare to be honest. Yeah. Great. And 
how does the battery storage actually work? So what is the sort of, in the most simplest terms, like how does the battery storage work? So you essentially will have, as Ben said, it's a storage device. So you will have it installed in your property. You charge it up at night when the energy is cheaper. You then use that in the day while energy prices are higher. And then if you do have any surplus left over, you can then export that and get paid for it as well. So win-win. It's a common thing with solar PV, you have lots of export to the grid and there's something called SEG where you'll be paid for that energy. You can also do this with a battery. So energy is energy, whether it's come from solar PV or from a battery cell. When the grid is under demand, um, they pay the best rates and you can, if you've got spare capacity, you can dump that into the grid and you'll get paid SEG just as you would with solar. Yeah. And we spoke previously about it. It's if it's a windy night, if the waves are crashing at like 4 a.m., it's like we have all this energy and the, the, the providers want to basically give it out. That's part of the reason why it's cheaper. And I think there's this really common misconception that um, when you buy an energy from the grid at night, you're still buying it from the grid. It's not great, mm. but it's not it's not necessarily true because you've still got your wind turbines or your tidal power that's still generating in an evening, but nobody's using it. So a larger percentage of that energy that you're buying at night is greener that's and cheaper. That's so cheap as well, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. And we speak a lot about Tesla and how they how they install the batteries, but also you can manage the, the batteries with these applications. Yeah, so I mean th this is sort of this is where I start to geek out and I don't I don't want to get make this too complex. People like the geek stuff. Yeah, okay, right. So this is what we would look like if you had the Tesla app. Um, this would be a typical 24-hour period. So right in the center there, that sort of orange line, that's when we charge that battery up on an off-peak low rate tariff. The purple um, is the state of charge of the battery and that's discharging. It gets down to 70% by, I'm guessing it's sort of 11 o'clock, whatever it is. And the little wavy ECG line is the load in the property. So this is, for some reason, it shows it in the middle. You can see by the end of the day, 24 hour period, we got down to about 30% of the battery's capacity. But all of that load in that 24 hour period was covered within the envelope of the battery's capacity. So we've not used the grid. We had 30% spare that we could have exported. Um, and what's sort of crucial about it is that the battery only really needs to last for about 20 hours because the, the cheap energy is between four and six hours. Mm. So something like a Tesla Powerwall 2, which has 13.5 kilowatt hours of storage, for an average property using less than 5,000, that will cover you. If you use more, you need two. But we don't just have Tesla, we have other options available. Uh, they're all on the website. And whenever we were speaking previously, you are saying people who have these applications, they, they become obsessed yeah, and, they, and, they, and they, ma they manage their time and they, they, they turn the lights off or they make sure the heating is on like 20 degrees or 21 degrees because they, they can see it. We, we've done an installation for my dad who's retired, so he loves it. This is what he lives for. And he will look at the app all the time and he'll be like, what did you have on at 10 o'clock on Thursday morning? <laughs> he loves it and you get obsessed with it, but that's part of the fun of it. You will save energy just by having real-time data. We see it a lot of the time with PV clients or battery clients who instantly they'll shave 500 kilowatt hours a year just from being more sensitive. Yeah. yeah. Great, super interesting. So guys, why, why should we consider a battery? Like, what, what are the main reasons for considering a battery? So I think the main one, obviously, that people love is it can reduce your energy bills. That's the big one. Um, again, you can get paid for it. Um, I think the main thing for us is giving people an understanding that it's suitable for most properties. So it's not mm. solar or nothing. It, this is your gateway. So, for example, for me, I live in a mid-terrace property. Um, we've got a weird-shaped dormer on the front, skylights all across the back. We can't have solar. Battery is the perfect option for us to get into renewables, get the cheaper energy, and if in four or five years' time we think we're going to move, take it with us. Um, and it's expandable as well. So all the batteries that we've got on the website, you can expand. So if actually you get an increase in load, you can just add another module on. So it's really easy to expand, move with you. This is, it, two, this is two, isn't it? Yeah, it's two. So people don't usually notice it, but yeah. that little white line in the middle um, is two batteries stacked together. So again, it, it, even if you do stack the Teslas, for example, mm. it's not going to take up loads of room in your house. You just stack it in front. Um, and yeah, super efficient. There is an, as I just noticed an error, sorry, in our slides, so I have to yeah. apologise to the audience, which is that it's um, it can reduce your bills actually by 70%. Your grid dependency would be 30%. Um, typically, the way it works is you have to be on a smart tariff and you need a smart meter in your property to be able to access one of those. 
Energy is roughly about 30 pence a kilowatt between 25 and 30 pence and off-peak energy is about 7 to 10 pence. So it's a third of the price if you can keep the energy within that envelope. That's before you start to export. Um, savings are what you do with the battery and, and depend on the tariff you want. And there's, no, there's no guarantee. It's important to point that out. But the, this, the reason this is so popular is because it's the cheapest way. It's got the fastest ROI in market. It's hard to beat. Yeah. yeah. And what sort of individuals are the ones who are looking to install batteries? So it's people that are, again, wanting to reduce uh, bills. It, again, it's that gateway to solar. Or if you, again, can't have solar or some people, if we're being honest, don't like the look of it. Mm. Um, whatever that reason is, it's your gateway into renewables. It's much less invasive than the likes of solar heat pumps, that kind of thing. So it's a great alternative to essentially you get a lovely looking Tesla like we've got over there. Stick it on the outside of your property. Don't even really need to think about it. Um, everything's preset in your app as well, so you don't even need to think about it. You let the battery do its own thing, but with the security that you've got, potentially 10 years warranty, take it with you, expand when you want. Really flexible. It, it really is. I know we've talked about it. It's like the gateway drug yeah, yeah. for like this green. Yeah, like 100%. People start with a battery and then they get a solar and then they get heat pumps and yeah. then they, they wrap the building in insulation. It's like it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, if, you, if you're looking to do your bit for the environment, it's a really good first step. Yeah, Great definitely. Step, yeah. And you can earn additional money as well. It's not just about the energy tariff savings. Um, won't go into it too much, but you can have export payments and you can also partake in something called a DFS scheme, which is a scheme that the National Grid run. 10 events a year where you get paid not to use the grid. Um, so all these things add up and you know there's a, there's, a, there's a real financial incentive to it. Yeah. Great. And with Resi, we genuinely, we always want to go for people at the top of the game. Like we're looking for quality, quality installers. And this, this partnership for us with Heatable and Resi, we have integrated you guys into our full design yeah. flow. So in your first call with your architect, your designer, we'll be introducing you to Heatable. In introducing you to the solar options and the battery options, giving you the cost as a customer at home. And that's fully, that is then fully coordinated through the design journey and the technical drawings for your builder to quote off. Yeah. It's then introduced to your, the builders as well to make sure the builders are aware in the build Heatable are coming in, Heatable are coming in with the batteries to make sure it is that end-to-end -end streamlined process. Yeah, we've got loads of projects for you guys. It's super simple. We're probably a bit biased, but everything yeah, yeah. is so easy to work with. So it's literally a case of you hand it over to us and between us, we'll work it out. We do all the hard work and then you'd get a lovely system at the end of it. Love it. And you've got this new this new e-commerce e e journey yes. for the customers? Yeah, so everything online for us is you can get a quote for one of these products without having to have anyone on the phone, anyone in the home. It's a full online e-commerce journey, no pressure and all the information there. And it's, I'm just going to show it. So this is the website, isn't it? Yeah, a couple yeah. of screenshots of it. Yeah. So there's different sections of it. So the left-hand side is the informational page around batteries and the right-hand side, that's a result. Um, so someone's had a fixed price. So it is a fixed price system and it includes all of the grid paperwork, the warranty, the installation and any sundry materials that are required. I feel like with any sort of renewable or green technology, like cost matters, like it, it, yeah. is it affordable? And it's not just the bills, it's like the upfront cost. And from what I hear from you guys, like the cost is, it's, it's on the money. Yeah, 100%. So the prices that we've got anyway are super competitive. Yeah. Um, we follow MTS guidelines. So we take a 25% deposit um, and then the rest is just due on installation and completion. Um, that's of course with 0% VAT now. Um, and we do also have 0% finance available on the packages, which is amazing. So that can be spread over three years, 0%. Um, and yeah, super flexible, really easy to access. Uh, that no percent, and just for me to work it out, spread the typical battery cost about. A Tesla would be around seven and a half thousand, which is about three and a half thousand less than the market rate. And that's you, fully installed as well. So it works out with the deposit about one hundred and forty, I think, pounds a month, and typical energy savings, um, sort of fifty to seventy pounds, depending on how, on what your usage is. Um, so you can have the product sort of installed for about seventy pounds a month. After three years, you own it. It's got a 10-year warranty. It's got a residual value, and you can take it with you if you need it. So it's, it's yeah, it's super competitive. Oh, come back to us and get another one. Yeah. And, and yeah. Tesla have the guarantee on, is it the 10-year guarantee on performance? Yeah, so they'll give you a 10-year parts and labour warranty, but what they'll also give you is an 80% depth of discharge guarantee for 10 years. So what that means, obviously, you have an iPhone or a phone, 
After a while, the battery starts to fail. This happens on home batteries too, but they're a lot more robust. Um, Tesla will guarantee a minimum of 80% depth of discharge. If it's less than 80%, and this is all um, remotely diagnosed, they'll just come and replace the product. Even so, after 10 years. So after 10 years, if it's 79%, they'll come and give you a brand new battery for yeah. another 10 years. Nine, 10, years, yeah, and nine years, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> just with it. Yeah. Make okay. sure you test it on the last day. <laughs> okay, so what have we learned today, guys? So it's about, it's, I suppose that it's, Batteries is the gateway, so whether you can or can't have solar, you're not sure what you want to do, you're not sure if a heat pump's right, and we have, uh, well, we've had a few customers now that have come to us, they know they want to go towards greener energy, cheaper energy, um, and they don't know how to do it. They've installed a battery because it's the simplest, least invasive option, and then the money that they're going to save from the battery and their energy bills, they can then put towards your PV or whatever in the future, if they so choose. Um, and again, it's the idea that even though you're buying from the grid, that doesn't make it... Um, it, it is still clean energy because you're still buying from those, the wind turbines, the tidal power that's going at night. So yeah, reduce your carbon footprint, save bills. They look pretty cool. It's not very invasive. No brainer, if you ask me. <laughs> it is a no brainer. And for me, it's it's a retrofitting or future fitting. It has to work for you, the individual. Yeah. I've learned about batteries very recently in the last like, two, three months. And yeah. in my head, they just make sense. They make sense in terms of like, what you can do for your savings, how they can connect to the solar, how easy they are, easy they are to install. Like for me, it's a it's, it's a no brainer. Yeah, I think the advancements in the product technology has transformed um, the the desirability for the product. These all in one units now. It's not a beta program anymore. It's a fully fledged product line. That the growth of it is, you know, it's the fastest growing product we do. Yeah, definitely. And just to double down on your launch code. Yeah, £500 off for um, anything with solar panels and £250 off for battery only. So Resi 500 or Resi 250. Fantastic. And guys, again, the revolution. Like, what is this? It's called the Future Fit Revolution. We want to make it easier. Make it easier for you guys at home. We're introducing you to the best in the business, the best in the batteries, the best in the solar, solar panels. And we want to do this by giving you the free advice. And the free advice lets you know who to trust, how much it's going to cost, what are your savings, how do you integrate, integrate that there with your design, your, your planning application, your technical package, your, your builders, and it's all under that one, one, one roof. So yeah. we hope this sort of demystifies this, this sort of like yeah. quite confusing yeah. world. Um, and again, if you have any questions, email us with retrofit at resi.co.uk. That's retrofit at resi.co.uk with the code RRR, and we'll tell you more about batteries and the potential of them. Right, I think that's it. Yeah. Questions? Yeah. Should we do it? Okay, so let me just stop sharing my screen in a second. And we have quite a few questions here. So uh, first question is from Kerry Vidal. Can you fit solar PV after you've installed a battery? A great question. Yeah. yeah. So the systems that we sell are all something called AC coupled. All you need to know about that is it will work with any solar PV system. You're not going to have to change your battery to get it to work with solar. So they're all fully compatible. And quite a few of your customers do that. They, they start with a the lot. battery and then they, they come after. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, I would say most people who can have solar, get the battery and then like, oh, I want solar. Great. And if you are doing solar, it's like 95% of people will have a battery. It's, it's unusual to have, yeah. So it's unusual not to, not to have both of you have solar first. Yeah, yeah it, it makes sense. Bit, yeah. Great, okay, cheers. So the next one is Edel Levy. Please do talk about return ROI, return on investment. Assuming I paid a thousand pound, how long would it take for me to pay it off? Um, if you paid a thousand pounds, let me know where, because I will buy some as well. Yeah. Um, but the um, ROI is split into two different metrics. And we talked about this last time on the solar um, webinar. Yeah. The time it takes to pay off the asset is the savings you make less the asset cost. And that on a battery is typically about six or seven years on stand. Without, that's without exporting energy. The way that I sort of look at it is it removes me from inflation from energy. So that's a benefit that's not in those calculations. Mm. And if I invest, say, £7,000 into a battery and it saves me a year £700, I need to be getting 10% in um, whatever account my money was in to beat that. Um, but if you go onto the website and get a quote, very much depends on your energy usage. A low energy user is not really going to benefit that right. much. A high energy user benefits a lot more. 
will be able to give you savings based on your energy usage. Yeah. I think with anything with retrofit, it is about the individual and the house. It's really subjective just because it depends on how much you're using. But again, if you ever have any questions, let us know. We can get those figures for you. If you're using not a lot as well and you've got a lot of spare capacity, you can export more to the grid at peak yeah. rate. Yeah. You can get a pound a kilowatt sometimes. Great. And Ida Levy, please just, please just send the recording. What we're going to do after this here is email everyone with the recording of this webinar and the previous solar webinars, you'll have all of them together. Okay, so Mr. M. Hoy, UK is very, very windy on some days, definitely is. Uh, will the solar panels be blown off from the roof and cause damage? No. no. <laughs> um, everything is low tested. So if you've got an on roof system where you've got a pitch roof, low tested beyond the house will probably come down first. If you have a flat roof system of ballast, it's all done on calculations. And we even use where you live in the UK, how close you are to tie, to the um, coast. coast, and we'll be able to work out what ballast we need. They're very safe. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So anonymous attendee, how much would a typical battery cost? Can you leave them outside? Depends which one you buy, really. So as for going outside, the Tesla's probably your best option. So you can get that from around £7,500 on the website, fully installed. Um, if you are wanting it to go outside, the Tesla um, can still perform um, up to minus 20 degrees. So, yeah, yeah so that's going to be... Batteries that, they, um, if they're going to go outside, their performance can reduce. We have starting prices on the website. and You can get a 5 kilowatt unit, smaller unit, for about 3995 feed. Yep. Great. John Torres, I live in a f flat in the first floor. Can I put the solar panels and battery outside in a shared flat building ceiling if the freeholder and the council property could, council property could control approved? You can, as long as you've got the approval. I mean, yeah. ultimately for us, we would um, install it if you could provide us with approval, yeah. Yeah, I, I think a lot of it is to do with if it's... Uh, a block of flats, like what does your lease say? Like what are the restrictions on your lease? Yeah, it's who owns what. It's yeah. who owns what. Well, yeah. You have to check that. So anonymous attendee, are they safe? I've heard they, there can be risks. Um, yeah, they're, they're very safe. Um, some early batteries had some challenges um, in market as they were a beta product. The real advancement has been something like these Teslas or the Alpha systems that we sell. They're an all-in-one unit, so there's no exposed cabling. Um, and they're all fully enclosed. They have rapid shutdown features. Um, lithium phosphate batteries, you could put that on a bonfire and it wouldn't catch on fire. Um, so previously it used to be your battery and then the separate parts of it, which is the most windless. different manufacturers, yeah. yeah. It was, there was compatibility issues, yeah. And more often now they're installed in garages on the outside of buildings as well, as opposed to being like in yeah. your in your, your yeah. closet. Yeah. Okay, so... Not anonymous. Is all solar panels good for the UK? Um, they're different. Not all. Yeah, not all of them. Um, you, if, you, if you live in the UK, you really want a system that's optimised for low light. Um, so solar panels that are either N-type, which is their cell technology, and we have a product by REA, which is specifically designed for low light settings. They will all work in the UK. It's just the high performance modules will give you better returns. And I know we spoke previously, if you do get the right solar panel, they work on this lovely cloudy day, they work on a sunny day, they work if it's overcast, if it's raining. If it's the right product for your property in the, in the area, it's, it's a, an all-day problem. Yeah, and our fusion place. panel would activate in here now about being outside, yeah. Another one for Anonymous. Do you think that in the future, energy companies will wisen up, I love that word, uh, to this and start charging people extra for doing this kind of activity? Um, it's a risk with battery is that the tariffs move. However, if you, a lot of the market is moving towards flexible grids. So as we transition to renewable power generation, renewables by their definition and their nature really are not um, predictable. So what we're seeing is energy companies wanting to introduce flexibility services. So there's already a product out there from Octopus, which you can set up automatically. And when they've got excess wind, if it's hyper windy or lots of tidal or lots of solar, they'll sometimes even give you that energy for free. So the, the grid has got to overcome the issue of everyone's loadings are at the same time. And if we haven't got enough renewable energy, we burn fossil fuels. And um, having battery storage turns your home into a mini power plant. Mm. And that gives you that flexibility. So I think it will actually get to a point where 
batteries will become a lot more expensive, all the demand on it will increase so much that the prices will go more than the tariffs. They're still very new. Like the amount still of people, new. The people, this is the early stages. Yeah, yeah, the people who have them, I think it's going to take a long time for everyone to have a battery. So it's uh, still a very new product. Kevin I was just going to say, I've just seen Kevin come on. Kevin's been a returning customer of ours for years and done loads of referrals. So we love Kevin. It's yeah, a great question. He had a, it was actually Kevin, one of the people that had um, a battery installed recently with us um, as a gateway to solar. So he said he does know he wants solar in potentially a few years' time. Wanted to recoup a bit of money first, probably because he spent it all with us. Um, and <laughs> he's, uh, great, great he's benefiting. done. He's getting yeah. savings. So that's fantastic. So he's had that in for a week and loving it, clearly. Hey, Kevin. Cheers, Kevin. <laughs> big, big fans of you here, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so Paul rings out. If everyone installed a battery, wouldn't that cause energy companies to review their off-peak low rate tariffs? So that's a reason, reason question. Yeah. 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 Okay, so and Ida Levy, by the way, sorry, I'm asking about the ROI for batteries only installation. Okay, um, so I think that's actually for ROI. Yeah, so I suppose it's still applicable, really. It's totally dependent on sort of your usage, isn't it? We can work that out for you, though. So if you've ever got any questions, let us know your usage. Yeah, we can you, work it out from there. We can do a bespoke quote. Yeah, yeah. And, But uh, batteries, they are more the cost and the, the returns you get in them. It is it, Out of all the retrofit products, it's one of the ones which you can get your return on investment much quicker. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit short to pay that time generally. Yeah, yeah 100%. So, whereas with solar, it could be like five, six years. Batteries, it could be like two, three years. Yeah, yeah definitely. Okay, so Harry Smith, why are residential batteries not more widely accepted? Utility companies push for solar and heat pump installs, but not batteries, while they would have a huge impact on bills and the grid dependency. They've not been that common, really. So it's probably only in the last few years that they've actually really developed. So obviously we know solar's advanced, yes, but it's been around for, for ages. It's been around for the last like, 10, 15 years. Batteries is relatively new, um, and it's only probably in the last, really, 18 months or so that it's really developed and become more accessible and more cost-effective because previously they were quite expensive yeah. and didn't perform as well as they do now. Has the Tesla battery done a lot for this year? Like, have like they... Yeah. Change, change the sort of marketing and yeah. change the yeah. perceptions of it. They did Definitely. what announced that they did 600,000 um, units. Tesla have something in America called Tesla Energy, yeah. which they offer $50 a month, I think it is, and you have unlimited charging. Uh, Tesla Energy have recently appeared on the off chain register for the UK, so... So something's, something's happening. Yeah, yeah. Un unconfirmed, but watch this space, yeah. Thank you, Harry. So anonymous attendee, to Harry Smith's question, there isn't enough margin fitting batteries for energy companies. They can scream green with solar heat pumps because they make a killing on them. Do Heatable accept this, expect, expect this to change? Furthermore, will they wise up, I love that word, and only allow the good tariffs to customers who purchase hardware from them? Um, I don't think an energy company would say you can only purchase it from, you can only have it if you've purchased it from us. Um, what energy companies look for is an MCS compliant mm. installation. So I think what they're not going to be keen on is that if you've been out, bought a battery and you've tried to wire it up yourself, yeah. there's a big risk you could export that to the grid. You need all the proper certification. Um, what was the first part question? Enough for me for battery, it's the screen, it's all the pumps, it's the margins on the batteries that they are. Like why, are, why are these big companies not like pushing this more? Is it, uh, is I think it because... they're pushing, pushing heat pumps and pushing solar. I, I think you'll see it appear, to be honest. Yeah. I think it will. It, it will It will come around. The, the big move will be if Tesla do something in the market, yeah. it's only relevant to their product. Yeah. And I, I think the people on this call are like, they're part of the early adopters. The ones who are like, oh, getting, yeah, 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 this is, this is new and this is the time to get them at the, the good price. Okay, so next one, Anonymous. What's the average cost of a battery? Totally depends what you're looking for, I suppose, and what manufacturer you're going for. Of course, we've touched on the fact that you can get, um, you can enter into the um, battery world for with heatable about from starting from three nine nine five. Um, but again, as we mentioned before, they're all really expandable. So depending on what battery capacity you want, um, and again, if you want heatable for Tesla, which is a more premium product, we can do that from um, again seven nine nine five. Fantastic. Okay, and again, for anonymous, how fixed are these things? If I move, have I bought my have I bought my home buyer a very expensive welcome gift? Great question, yeah. Mrs. Anonymous. Yeah, you can you can move them. Yeah. Um, so you guys do a piece where you can... we do, we have an option to where we'll move a battery for you. Um, you can either negotiate to keep it in the property, or if you want to take it, we can take it. But because we're an approved installer for some all the manufacturers we fit, you'll also carry the warranty with you as well. Yeah. So the warranty's on the product, the not on the property. The product's yeah. not the property, yeah. 
Fantastic. So, John Leggy, in a situation where a client is not extending refurbing, can a battery be fitted solely as an energy store without a major refit on the first, second fix area? Yeah. yeah. Pretty, pretty simple. Our yeah. price online would be for that, whether you're retrofitting or not. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Will you offer the te Tesla Powerwall 3? Yes. yes. Although um, it's not Dead. out yet, it's going to be about August. Um, the capacity storage is the same. The difference with that product is it has a higher charge and discharge rate. Um, but we will be doing it, but not till August, and it's likely to be a bit more expensive. And for the novices, what is a charge and the discharge rate? So the best way to think about a battery is to, in two ways. If you think about a battery as a bathtub, and the amount of water in it is the capacity of energy, your charge and discharge rate are your tap and your plug on. Nice. So one of the challenges with early batteries and why the adoption wasn't really there was you had lots of water and a teeny weeny tap and a teeny weeny plug hole. Yeah. Tesla's is really powerful now. That's a great explanation. Yeah, you <laughs> know. Okay, so Robin Webb, I live in a duplex flat with space under the stairs for battery storage, but what about the weight and the, and the fire risk? I'm not sure if our management company will allow individual flat owners to install batteries because of the implications of the blocks insurance. Um, so the weight, they're about 120 kilograms for a Tesla. So it's not, not massively heavy, but it's heavy, but it's not um, beyond anything out of the wardrobe. The fire risk purely comes down to your management company. We have installed them in lots of flats, management companies. We did a project recently for a over 50 site. Uh, vulnerable people didn't want the power to go out if the grid dropped. Uh, they allowed it, but you would have to check. Yeah. would have to check the insurance. But from a safety perspective, these all-in-one units now are super, super safe. I think it's getting your freeholders, freeholders, freeholders approval. Once that's there, you're yeah. flying. So, LD. I was only joking with here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I give a thousand pound as an example and did not mean that Barry cost yeah, thousand yeah. pound. Okay, thank you, Ald. Um I made so many, for a typical three bed house. How much does it cost to install these batteries? So, a Tesla Powerwall two would be about seven thousand five hundred um, for the Tesla installation with the backup gateway that gives you the full off grid. Easy. For a six bedroom house, for 4,000 pounds. Six bedroom house, 4,000 kilowatts of pieces per hour. So, a 4,000 kilowatt hour, you're definitely looking at a Tesla. Yeah. So, it's got an annual capacity of 5,000. Tesla for that one. Yeah. Email, how is the place of installation decided? What tech is used to assess this CAD BIM? Um, we use a. So, for the, the practicality of the installation depends where you physically want the battery, really. You avoid, will avoid loft spaces. Generally, people put them outside or in a garage. Um, you can site it within reason wherever you want it. Um, yeah. It comes down to the layout. We'll do a survey before we install the product. And I guess for any sort of resi and heatable uh, individual, like we would laser scan the whole building and we'd send these surveys to the heatable team. You would assess, you'd be able to look, walk around the building, you would measure from the, the distances from the boundaries, the measure inside. So it'd be this like fully integrated service. Yeah, and again, there's no there's no separate unit. So the battery that you see over there, that Tesla, um, th that's it, that's all you've got. So there's a small gateway and obviously the connections to your mains, but there is only really that one unit to consider. So it is really flexible and you can fit it in most places. And if all else fails, they can go outside. Fantastic. So are there any government grants available for batteries? A 0% VAT has been introduced from February. So if you bought it before February, you would have paid an extra 20%. Um, there's no deadline that they've given on the VAT, but it's available at the moment, so yeah. spread where you can. Great. Another anonymous. Is there any ambient heat benefit to be gained from the battery once it's operating? They're, they're, warm, they're like warm to the touch, but then there wouldn't be like a radiated um, element there. I've heard of individuals putting batteries in the floorboards to get heat. Is that completely mental? That's, um, that's absolutely yeah, insane. That, yeah. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying Don't follow that up. Don't follow that up. <laughs> Olivia Cook, this has been incredibly helpful so far. Thank you very much. Cheers, Olivia. So maybe we finish with just like seeing the battery. Should we bring it into the screen? Is it too heavy to uh, move or? I can try and bring it over. Yeah, I mean, this is a this is a dummy one. This is an empty an empty box. We may preface this by saying Ben has already yeah. got his Tesla. So oh, 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 my wife's not watching me pick it up. Um, so here we go. It's... So this is the unit itself. Depth wise, it's what's that? It's Fifteen centimeters. Like two or three inches. So you put it down the side of your property. They're really, really narrow. Um, they've got a little charge and discharge light on the side of it here. Um, and they, when the bracket they sit on, they sit right up to the wall. So if this is an external wall, 
doesn't take up much space. It looks great. We were joking earlier about a lot of people say when they want, have, to have the Tesla one installed, they want it on the front of their property because they want their neighbours to see it. It looks great. Okay. <laughs> and again, with the Tesla, if you did want to stack it, you can literally stack them in front of each other. So again, it's not going to take up loads of room across a back wall or anything like that. Really yeah. compact. Good. 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 Yeah, it's great. Final shout out from Emmanuel on the discount codes. How long do they, how long do they last for? So four weeks discount code, um, a standard, but if we need to extend a little bit, I'm sure we can for Resi. Yeah. Fantastic. And last one, Robin Webb, you've got the final say. The benefit that you didn't touch on, thank you for giving us this here, is the energy security. If you live in a rural area with the unreliable main supply, the backup battery could be used to keep the freezer on until the mains is restored. Yeah, so well, that's, it's a common, um, common question, this. To do that, you have to have the Tesla unit because it has something called the gateway. Um, but it is, we install a lot of these products for people who live in rural areas who have regular grid drops. We even have clients that work from home who have servers running. They want instant backup power um, or also medical cases. Well, I've done quite a few people have got medical, yeah, medical equipment, equipment at home. There's no no risk. And there's a funny Energy story security. we got actually from one of our customers that we installed a Tesla at who needed off-grid um, capability and he rang us up to say the grid went down and it was a total blackout for a couple of hours. And in that time, he managed to cook him and his neighbours a uh, roast dinner, roast dinner yeah. off his battery. <laughs> That's so, Energy, Energy yeah. security 101. You can, still, you can still have a roast if the, if the blackouts come. Yeah. yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you very much, everybody. It's been, I found it very useful. I've learned so much more about batteries. I'm very excited about this integration between these two companies. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you have any questions, email us at rexfit at Yeah, thank you very much. That's goodbye from me. Yeah, Bye thanks, guys. Well, yeah. Thank Cheers, you. guys.